2256, we would have gone long. It looks like it did trade down below the low here, and we may have gotten stopped out right in here before hitting our profit targets. But if we had stayed in this, it would have been one, two, three, four days. We would have had a nice little profit here. Uh, many times, uh, depending on the stock, I mean, the the stops that I set are one cent below the low here. But you can actually set different types of stops depending on your comfort level. In this particular case, you might have wanted to have set your stops a little bit lower, maybe even the low of the prior day's bar, especially if uh, this particular bar is on the lower end of the bar that precedes it. So you can set your stop down here rather than setting it to the low of this particular day. It does increase your risk a little bit, but it does give it a little extra room to move as well, and this would have been a profitable trade had you had done that. Let's take a look and see if there's any additional opportunities in NVIDIA here. Uh, we're looking for inside days that look particularly good. Normally, if you take, take the higher uh, range bars here and then try to find a uh, inside bar against those, those tend to work out more often. Let's see here. This is totally random and totally unplanned <laughs> on my part. Uh, we're just kind of taking a look at some inside days. Here we go. Here's an interesting one. We've got a long range red bar here, which, uh, which I tend to like when setting up these types of trades. Now, the inside day on this one is actually a fairly large bar and a fairly um, uh, solid bar. Uh, in other words, it has a fairly large real body here, but let's take a look at this one. Uh, it, like I said, you don't, I mean, none of these are particularly perfect, but they do, you know, work out. <clears throat> so you would have had an entry at the high of this, one cent above the high of this bar, which was $32.68. So you would have entered at $32.69 right in here. Now, this did kind of reverse and go back down, but it didn't go into the tw lower 25% channel range. So you would have been able to stay in this trade, and you would have set your, uh, I would have set my stop limit at the, at the low of this channel, at the low of that bar, uh, which was 31.47 minus a penny, 31.46. And the trade uh, did actually go higher, and it looks like you would probably would have hit uh, at least one, uh, target maybe even two. One, two, three, four. You probably would have gotten out on this day right here. Uh, let's continue in NVIDIA, see if we can find any other opportunities here uh, as they were presented. Now remember, you can do this on any stock. So if you're scanning several different types of stocks, you can also um, you know, do this on multiple issues. Here's another inside day. Let's take a look at this one. So you can see there's plenty of opportunities out there. Uh, this particular inside day is quite interesting because it actually ended right at the high of the day. Uh, in this case, because the low, this is a, is a high upper real body and a white bar besides, um, I would have, I may have set my stop a little bit differently, maybe down, you know, down here, maybe in the 25% range, but we would have gotten filled uh, just one penny above the high here at 36.14. The high of this uh, inside bar is. Uh, 3613. We would have gotten filled at uh, 3614 uh, right in here. Uh, we would have hit at least one profit target, and certainly on day four we would have hit our, our second, maybe even our third profit target on this particular day. This was actually a, looks like a very very good trade that was set up here. Um, <clears throat> let's continue to go down here, so if we can find any additional trades. But the trades that you find are just all over the place. Let's take a look at some r more random stocks, maybe from uh, uh, some of, some of my watch list here. Let's take a look at some pop, uh, some some very liquid, highly liquid stocks like uh, Procter and Gamble here, and let's just take a look at uh, some of the trades that may have been set up that we could have gotten into here. Let's take a look at, here's one right here I see immediately. Here, just the first one I see. Uh, we take a channel line, we'll go up here, high, low, 
uh, didn't look like it violated the low. We would have gone long right in here. We would, hit, would, we would have hit at least one, maybe even two profit targets on that. Let's keep skimming along here, see if we can find some additional opportunities. There's one right here. We take the high of that, bring it across, take the low. Our entry would have been just above the high of this inside bar day, which was 60.24. We would have gone long at 60.25. Um, our stop was down either. Like I said, you know, you can set your stop below this uh, bar here, your inside day, or the prior is the, or the the, the uh, day before that. So you could have set your stop down in here if you wanted to give it a little bit more room. But in this case, we hit uh, day one, day two, day three, day four. We would have hit at least one, maybe even two profit targets on this particular day. Uh, for aggressive traders, uh, if you think that the particular stock is in an uptrend, uh, here's something very interesting. Uh, I've got a 20-day moving average here that looks, it appears to be support for the stock. If you wanted to, you could have been, had a little bit more confidence in this position by just, you know, uh, uh, exiting a portion of your trade, maybe even saving a small lot to continue higher here uh, in the trade. Uh, let's scan along and see if we can find some additional opportunities in Procter and Gamble. Uh, uh, here's one. I mean, there's lots of opportunities for doing this. Very few people actually try to pick up on these, though. Uh, it's unusual. Whoops, I picked up the wrong tool. I've got to pick up my channel line. Um, it's right around the same line, so. I would have picked up this inside day here. Uh, it looks like it could have, br it did break through, but it was a fake out. It did end up closing in the lower 25% range here, in which you probably could have uh, gone short at that time, uh, and you probably would have hit at least one profit target down here. Um, it's not the ideal setup, though, because this bar is particularly weak. It's not a a large solid body body bar, and this one is not a, sh a small body bar, um, so they're about equal. So I'm not really sure if that. Uh, I mean, it's not a strict criteria. Uh, the criteria really is that as long as it's an inside day, you can trade it. Uh, but once you get used to, once you start doing these more often, you start to look up and pick up some of the nuances of the particular type of bars that you would like to trade. And you know your 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 appetite for risk, your aggressiveness, and other factors would probably indicate um, you know which bars, which uh, setups you actually want to take, and those that you don't want to take. For example, this is a very large red bar here, and you've got a uh, this fits the definition of an inside bar, but I don't think I'm gonna I would take this one because of the size of this red bar. Uh, it's just something, and also the size of the inside day bar. Normally, this inside day bar would be much larger than any of the bars preceding it. So I would not consider this to be a narrow inside day bar. It definitely is an inside day bar, but it's not a narrow one. So I would not take that trade. Here's one that looks particularly good that you could have traded. Uh, let's just check and make sure the high of this particular day is $60.14. The high of this day is $60.13. So you had a potential trade there. You would have gotten uh, filled at uh, $60.14 on this trade, and you would have hit at least one, two, maybe even three profit targets on this one. Um, the low on this, the uh, stop level on this, I probably would have set to the low of this bar, the previous bar. That would have been my stop right in there. Only because it closed in the higher end, I think I probably would have uh, preferred uh, a stop down here, just to give that trade a little bit more room. And if I got and filled on the short side, I probably would have set the stop at this. Actually, these are pretty close to being similar, but I would have set it up there as well. 
Uh, let's take a look and see if, if you're getting bored with Procter & Gamble, we can move on to another stock. But I just want to give you some examples of actually how frequent these happen. Uh, these are not rare occurrences. They actually happen quite frequently in the markets, and they are tradable events. Uh, here's one that would, I don't want to give you examples of all examples of ones that, you know, actually would have worked out very, very well uh, and always perfectly. Let me give you this as an example. The high on this was 61.92. The high was 61.92. Okay. If you have equal highs, like these two bars I'm talking about right here, the highs are identical, 61.92 and 61.92. That is not an inside day trade. I would not have taken that trade. It looks close, but I would not have taken it. Here's one in particular. It looks interesting. Uh, we've got a long red body with a tail. We've got an inside day uh, that actually has a small real body on it. Uh, I'm trying to find some losers for you uh, if I can. But I want to give you as many examples um, without, any, without rehearsing or any kind of rehearsal at all on these. Uh, these are totally random picks on my part just to see if we can find inside day trades. Uh, in this one in particular, you would have had a um, short entry at the low of this bar at 59.74 and an entry on the, on the high of this bar at um, $60.18. You would have gotten filled right in here. And you probably would have hit at least one, two, maybe even three profit targets based on day four. So you've got day one, day two, day three, and day four. You would hit all three profit targets probably on this particular trade. That was a nice one. Uh, let me see if I can find some that are failures and total losers here. Um, uh, here's one. Here's one that probably would have set up okay. Uh, you've got a white bar and an inside day. Now, this in inside day is fairly large, but it, it is tradable. Uh, you would have you would have gotten you would have not have gotten filled on the very next day uh, at one penny below the low of this bar. Uh, the low of this bar was 61.45. You would have entered your order to go short at 61.44 or long at the high of this bar at uh, 61.88. <coughs> that would not have gotten filled. This would not have gotten filled because it gapped down. It did not trade back up so that you could get filled. It did trade back up to get filled on this day, which is interesting. You would have gotten filled at your uh, short on your short position here at uh, 61.44. Uh, it would have never uh, gone into the upper 25 percentile range. It would have never triggered your stop loss. But you're talking one, two, three, four days. You would have hit maybe one profit target here. Um, and exited the position because uh, it was day four of the position. So you would have gotten out at that time. So that wasn't a big winner, and it was. It's, this is kind of an unusual setup. So that was a good example for you. Uh, of, uh, sometimes these things do happen. Uh, here's a losing. Um, yeah, I'll pick out a loser for you. I don't think I would have traded this because the prior day uh, was kind of an odd uh, small body day. I like them or large real bodies, rather, in my candlesticks uh, prior to my inside day. But this one in particular would have gotten filled on your long side here. Um, it would have gotten stopped out the very next day. Uh, however, it had an opportunity here for a uh, reverse play, and you may have hit one or two targets uh, back on the fourth day. But this would have this would have gone up, gotten filled, and then it would have gotten stopped out down here. So that would have been a losing uh, uh, losing position for you, losing setup. However, you could have, uh, if you were interested, you could have reversed the position and gone short. And you would have hit maybe one, maybe even two targets, uh, profit targets on the other side of that trade. Uh, let me take a look at some more. If we want to, we can change stocks. Uh, let's go over to IWM. Now, you can also trade this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, stock. It can be an index like the IWM. Uh, in this case, um, we have an inside day here. We would have gone short here. We probably would have, would, would have hit at least one, maybe even two profit targets. Um, 
In this case, I use this as a um, I use this inside day as a support and resistance point. And what I did was here, let me show you. 